All right, welcome everybody to the comic panel. I'm Cody. I'm Taylon. I'm Jacob. And I'm Shawenta. And this is the comic panel. And today we are doing an episode that is different than what we normally do. Yeah. This is the first uh, podcast exclusive. Um, and I'm not really sure what to call it. We've kind of, we've done similar episodes before called a roundup. Mm-hmm. We, I've, I was kind of thinking maybe like afterward. I don't know. If you are out there listening, send us, you know, what you think we should call this episode after listening. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, some sort of, basically, it's a little bit looser, a little bit more freestyle, um, Mm -hmm. you know, less structured. And we are just kind of covering, you know, what was going on in the last few episodes that we did and what to look what we're looking forward to in the future and also kind of uh what we liked uh you know this is a little bit of our year end of the year um episode too yeah almost a month through (laughs) yeah yeah you know i mean i think that you know this is the way that i've always felt about like new year's resolutions too it's like i don't think you should make it like on January 1st, like you have to get a, like a free trial of the year to know what you're going to want. <laughs> yeah. It's easy to be rash. You know, the year just ended. Yeah. It's who knows what's going to happen. Exactly. No, nah, that's when you make your plans. You just say, Hey, no, this is going to happen. Nah. <laughs> if you're good in crisis, I can see how you would think that, but mm-hmm. a lot of people appreciate a little more space from events before they make decisions about them. Yeah. So I'm like, I. that's yeah. why I'm like, end of January, I'm going to set my goals. I see, I see. <laughs> and also reflect about how I felt about 2023. Mm, gotcha. Time to process. Yeah, I exactly. see. I just need five I minutes. mean, is 2023 <laughs> even over until you stop accidentally putting it in on like checks and forms and stuff? Yeah. Because I'm still doing that. I'm still doing that it too. It's like six months though. <laughs> <laughs> to, to be fair, some t- I've slipped in a little 22 in there. So <laughs> no. that's, uh, that's a bad one. That's a bad one, yeah. You're still, you're so far behind. <laughs> It'll take you forever to catch up. Uh, <laughs> I guess I got to start now. No. All right. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're lost in the past. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, so um, to get into it, um, we recently ended our holiday theme. I picked that theme for our episodes. Mm-hmm. We read books uh, that were, you know, themed towards any sort of holiday. So we read Santa. We read Claus. We read the DC Valentine's Day special, mm-hmm. and we read Batman the Long Halloween. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. What were some of your guys' favorites from this theme? Mm. I think Claws, honestly. And, yeah. Yeah. I uh, just like, I like the story of just uh, estranged Santa coming into town <laughs> yeah coming to find like wow my hometown's kind of being oppressed i need to fix it right and um on top of that the art is great just yeah 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 dan moore is a uh, star <laughs> <laughs> um i mean out of all four of them Yeah, I, I think what Shawinta is saying is she loves the DC Valentine's Day one. <laughs> <laughs> when I was trying to recount f- all, from all four of them, the two I could remember that existed was Claus and the Long Halloween. Wow. <laughs> you couldn't even remember you just Santa. read the Long Halloween, though. So that's, I, I feel like that's cheating. I remember the one I chose. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and I, Okay, so, you know, I chose Sanda, the the manga about the guy, the, the literal middle school kid who yeah. turns into Santa because it's genetic. Mm-hmm. And I, I, like, continued to read that after the show, and I still <laughs> didn't remember it. <laughs> yeah. oh, man. I mean, it did take a bizarre dip in quality. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. It yeah. unique 
<laughs> dip. <laughs> Do you want to go a little bit more into that? I've, you know, off mic, you've told me a little bit, but I, I want to, to hear. Okay, so Jake, you also read a bit more. I read, what was the last one I read? It was, the last thing I remember is him turning into Black Santa. Oh no. And hugging all of the children to unconsciousness. Because <laughs> he still can't hurt kids. Yeah. Even though he's Black Santa. Um, but he becomes Black Santa by growing up and doing more, like... Morally gray? Yeah, more morally gray things. Huh. But he can still become regular Red Santa, if I recall correctly. Uh, okay, so he's Black Santa as in he wears black, not... Yes. Yeah, no, he's not <laughs> American Santa. I don't know. I was like, I've seen... No, I understand. <laughs> I saw your faces go, huh. <laughs> yeah, I was like, this seems... See, I, I was thinking, like, it's is it Krampus? Hero, superhero <laughs> yeah. style. Yeah, and like, I'll, yeah, I was like, okay, what I really thought was, I was like, I doubt that they are going with, like Jake said, African-American Santa, but I was like, I feel like I've seen European depictions of, like, yeah, kind of a Krampus mm-hmm. figure that has, like, coal black skin. Mm. Um... He just wears black. It's just like a superhero outfit style of like clad in black. Okay. Like he looks less like Santa too. Mm-hmm. It's a little weird. Okay. Disappointing. So it's more. Oh no! And we meet the we meet the principal too, who's a super old woman. The super old woman who accepts her aging versus the oh. other guy. Oh, I see. Who is he then? I I, I thought he was the principal. Yeah, I think he's the principal. She's like. The chairwoman or something. Yeah. Superintendent or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mistress. Oh, that's, that's right. <laughs> but no, like, as, I mean, Sonda continued to do what it did best, which was come up with new ideas every single chapter. That All right. All right. That's at fair. some point, that's unsustainable. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you got to dig into what you already have it there. It really was like a web comic where it was like and what about this and what about this but never really exploring one properly. Mm-hmm. It really I mean the moment spoilers the moment they killed like the main inciting incident in my opinion <laughs> the girl who went missing. Yeah. I was like well what's going on now? Also the way they killed her. Mm. Oh. So dumb. <laughs> If you, if you're too promiscuous, you're gonna grow up too fast, and your body's gonna fail. Wow, mm-hmm. you will just straight up die. You'll because die because you fell in love, or actually no, fell asleep while you were falling in love, and then dead. Yeah, interesting. Mm-hmm. Yep. Are yep. we gonna do anything with that? Are any of the other characters gonna be in danger of that? Yeah, are any of the other characters who are also super falling in love going to experience any ramifications of that? (laughs) No No idea, because I stopped reading. No, because they don't fall asleep when they fall in love. They just, like, stay awake. I I got to the part where they were like, Sonda, you got to find your reindeer. (laughs) And I was like, I can't do this, man. I tried to. (laughs) I kept reading. But they only had Spanish translations, uh, so it was a little harder. Yeah, yeah. I, can... I was like, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> but it totally, I think I mentioned this off camera. Like, this is the creator of Beast Stars. Mm-hmm. Those reindeer look like the little Beast Stars characters. Uh, it's just furries now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They're just people. Is this a beautiful man or is this a furry? I'll never know. <laughs> <laughs> uh,. Cool. Yep. Everything that has been described to me, I am just glad I got off that train. <laughs> yeah. You know. It was good while it lasted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was fun. Um, so getting back into uh, the the our theme picks and stuff, it might just be recency bias, but I think I liked uh, Long Halloween the best. Gotcha. I mean, it was like a long form narrative that was coherent <laughs> and had an ending of sorts. Like even if it's a little bit of an open ending, you know, we discussed a lot about who the actual culprits are. It's hmm. just very intriguing. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Yeah. 
yeah i think that that's probably yeah a good summation of like yeah why i like it you know and also like the style too it's very stylistic oh, it's so good yeah it, it's hard to compare it to like dc's valentine's day anthology <laughs> of like yeah some of these are really dumb and some of these are okay yeah <laughs> such what? a mixed bag in there Mm-hmm. Taylor, did you read the Long Halloween? I know you weren't on the show for it, but no, no, I the I only saw the movie, mm. but that was disconnected from the fact that we were reading it. Yeah, so. yeah. So Taylor, yeah. you'd say you liked Klaus the most. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sandra and probably second. your pick. No, <laughs> no, that's definitely going. On, I would, I would think that's going on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I, but. Without reading Long Halloween, you know, hard yeah, to say. Yeah, yeah I, I guess that's like, <laughs> didn't like Sonda, didn't like a very DC Valentine's Day. I liked I, Klaus. That's hard. No, I, I liked Sonda more than I could say I didn't like it. So, yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah so. I, I, I think my, my biggest issue with Sonda is like, just Santa didn't meet my expectation. But that was about it. That's such a funny way to put that. Act more like Santa, small child. But everything, but everything else about him, like, kind of, just the lightheartedness of it all. You know the, yeah. the, I guess what do you, the premise of the story, like of the world that they're in. That was like that was all interesting to me. Mm-hmm. They definitely they took a premise that I didn't think I'd like and made mm-hmm. it fun in mm-hmm. the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. She just puts a bomb in the room. (laughs) (laughs) It gets me. Okay, I think that we're going to have a brief pause here real quick. We're we're just going to pause it, Jack. Okay, yeah, I just need to... The final thing is I just need to check that this works now. There we go. Beautiful. Awesome. Um, Where do you guys usually put your shows in? Um, So, well, usually... We send it to Moody, okay. you know, but mm-hmm. since now, um, you know, usually I try to get it in on Saturday when I'm here, you know, and yeah. just have like, you know, one ahead of schedule, basically. Yeah, yeah. but the, what you're recording right now isn't for today. No, no, okay, no, sorry, no. Because I think right now, the only people on this list are me, me, Moody, Kevin, Benny, maybe. So we'll have to add you guys on. Okay. Um, does, uh, does Kirsten have both your up-to-date um, student ID numbers? Mm-hmm. Okay, good. Should be. Um, yeah. So, because we had to, with the lock department, create this new swipe category, but now we should be able to um, do it in building. So on Monday, Ed, uh, uh, Ed Tenejero, who like runs our swipe list and runs this building, I'll give the your IDs to him. I'll get them from Kirsten and then just okay. drop them in. So if you do want to add it in today, I can just leave this propped. And then you can just close it when you're done, or you can send it to Moody. And since yeah, no, I don't have anything ready yet, okay. so right. yeah, it'll be Perfect. fine. Well, thanks for your patience, you guys. I really appreciate it. Yeah, um, thank you. And now, yeah, we'll we'll get you on there, and it'll be easier for you to add your shows. Awesome, okay. sweet, awesome. See ya. Thank you. See ya. All right. <clears throat> Wait for that door to close. All right, you ready? Yeah, so um, I feel like we are kind of in agreement that uh, the Valentine's Day special is probably in our least favorite. No, no, no. Hold up. Hold J- up. Jake said he enjoyed it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did I? <laughs> yeah, like when? <laughs> yeah, I, just now. I just heard him. <laughs> just now? Some more gaslighting. <laughs> you know, it... It led me to learn more about Dear John letters than I thought I ever would. Um, so I have some positive to say about it, but also, like, I double-checked. It is 200 pages shorter than The Long Halloween, but I still think I took more time stopping and not reading the, val- the Valentine's Day special. That's fair. Yeah. I didn't even finish it actually <laughs> oh yeah that's right <laughs> yeah. i mean yeah when you get to a certain point in the book and you go do i really have to read it? <laughs> it's, it's not a good sign yeah 
Uh, uh, I, you know, oh, wait, no. Never mind. That's a different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To be to be more concrete about it, um, I just felt like, you know, there was too many stories that were, like, too similar to each other. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and, the, and they weren't, like, premium quality. But I also wonder, I guess I've, I've read more, like, action sci-fi anthologies, but not as many, like things they're leaning towards romance Mm -hmm. but i feel like you know there there's more you know with romance you have to have like more attachment to the characters themselves you know and and like you know reason to be invested in their relationships and so it seems like it's harder to do that with a short story anthology that's fair but i also don't have as much uh experience reading those kinds of things Mm -hmm. so maybe there is a right way to do it but yeah. it didn't feel like there was enough time to be even properly invested in a lot mm-hmm. of them. I yeah, I I think it's it's possible to do it um, in the time that they had. But I I do think that there, it would help to already have like an understanding of a lot of these yeah. characters. But I mean that's the thing too is they, that yeah, it's like they spend a lot of time trying to like establish who these characters are in between. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And and even like, you know, it would seem obvious that like maybe the best one would be something like the Batman Catwoman one. You know, it's like oh, yeah. that is like an established DC yeah. relationship. As long as that you've read Batman comics, right. you pretty much know. Or you've even just seen the Batman movies cuz Catwoman is almost always in there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but then they put it in a like a timeline or universe whatever where they've <laughs> met like one time. Yeah. Yeah. So they can't have a romantic relationship. <laughs> it's well, I yeah. guess they could. Yeah. Yeah. But <laughs> it's really not weird. in the one time we see them. Yeah. Honestly, Long Halloween had a better, <laughs> more interesting relationship between them. And how many scenes did they have? Yeah. Yeah. That's they, funny. I mean, they had a bunch of scenes, but there was always very like one page or two where mm-hmm. they get to like interact, but you kind of get the sense of mm-hmm. the relationship, even if you don't see a ton of the interactions. Yeah. Gotcha. Played out. I-, I will say, like, I, you know, it makes me think to the other anthology we read, the one about Superman earlier in the year. Mm-hmm. Or, like, Superman well, last year. Yeah, Superman Red and Blue. Uh, red, I was not there for that either. Blue, oh. I think. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Red and Blue. Okay. But yeah, I- and I actually, looking back on the stuff we read, that I rated that kind of high. Like, it's so interesting the different ways people interpreted the one subject, Superman. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. There's some really good ones in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there is. Yeah. And I have I have read romance anthologies um, when I was younger, like manga ones. Mm-hmm. Though typically they were done by, like, a single author. Like, um, the guy who did Cross Game. Mm. Oh. Uh, Mitsuriya Dachi, I think. Mm-hmm. He he's done a lot where he's done like really short stories and it's all kind of like the same guy and the same girl. Like they, mm. they don't have unique personalities, but it's the way they like meet or like interact and how they end up not getting together and separated. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So you can do it mm-hmm. and it it's interesting the scenarios, but yeah, it's it's kind of hard to be interesting scenario for this specific character right. with all these other specific characters in such a short amount of t- pages. Yeah. I, I Oh, what were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to say, yeah, I feel like it would be better to have like one or maybe just like five max authors, you know, mm. um, <laughs> oh, yeah. you know, and like give more room then. Yeah. I mean, yeah, more more room, but even it wouldn't have to be that. Like, it could still be a similar amount of page count per story, but just, like, in the sense that it's, like, a more, like, kind of unified vision. Like, I mean, ideally it would be, like you said, one author, mm-hmm. but also, like, you know, if you really wanted, you could bring in more, but just, like, you know, less of a variance in... um in stories you know like i mean i i'm not meaning that in the sense that i want them to be the same because that's actually part of the problem with Mm -hmm. the valentine's day specials that some of them were too similar Mm -hmm. um but you know if you only have one author then you know what's going to be the other story you know the the other with like the 20 plus authors that were on 
the Valentine's Day special, they're not privy to the other stories that are going to be going in. Oh, yeah. You know? Okay. Makes sense. Yeah, like in the episode, I think you mentioned having a better editing. Well, yeah. better mm-hmm. editing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 I would say, like, my my biggest thing with the Valentine's Day special is that, to me, it didn't celebrate Valentine's Day so much as be cynical, I think. Mm, mm-hmm. Because a lot of the stories weren't about, like, characters getting together or characters falling in love. It was all, like, heartbreak or, like, like I, I will positively, you know, figure finding your way despite the heartbreak. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, know? you need both. Like yeah. that's kind of yeah what Cody's saying. I guess you know it's all the same. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That is, that a- is right. Like Valentine's Day is fun. Yeah. Yeah. Where was the fun? <laughs> I never had fun really. Yeah, I I will say like uh, you know going into it, I had like I had my own expectation, you know. And the first story being um, Kirk Langstrom, Man Bat, and he's like, of course. I I I think that was a pretty good opening. Yeah, because it was like, whoa, hold up, <laughs> hold up, I didn't expect that. Right. Yeah, <laughs> I I agree. And then it kind of just kept doing stuff yes. like that, yeah. and I was like, I mean, I you know, honestly, considering that they combined two different valentine's day specials together Mm -hmm. actually really three of them if you count the harley quinn one too oh yeah um you know i would have preferred that they just mixed up the stories instead of being like the monster one the not monster one (laughs) harley quinn you know okay gotcha (laughs) like obviously harley quinn was like a whole story so you would have to put that one at the beginning middle or end Mm -hmm. but then you know mixing up the monsters and the non-monster ones so it's a little broken up a little bit dude you tell the sto- tell the Harley Quinn story, but have each of those other stories as like interludes in between them. <laughs> yeah, That's pretty God, good. Don't do that. don't do that. <laughs> I like that idea. It was already so confusing. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> yeah, and with the different like the dream sequences in the Harley Quinn one, that'd really be confusing. It's like when did Elon, That's fair. You're like you're like those people who like TV where they're like, and this yes. exciting thing's about to happen, and then they cut away, and yeah. they're like, but here's the B plot. Yes. And something exciting's about to happen in the B plot, and then we cut away. Yeah. Um, also, I was going to say, too, um, go, jumping back to what you were, or, I mean, I just, I guess just that you were saying that you've read, like, um, romance manga anthologies. Mm-hmm. I actually would have liked, I'd like to see, and I'm sure this exists probably, I just haven't personally read it, but like, I really like a lot of, um, like both manga and in anime, you know, like the, um, Valentine's Day and White Day episodes and stuff, Mm. you know, and like the different things like, you know, in comedies versus in like, you know, shoujo romances and stuff like that. Just like the different things that can happen, and that would be fun to read, actually. I gotcha, think. Yeah, you know, just... yeah, they're very different from our Valentine's Day in some ways. Yeah. Um, that kind of brings me to the idea that you know we chose well, somebody specifically chose the <laughs> holiday theme, not me. <laughs> it was um, me. It, it's kind of hard to like go. This is a holiday comic. Unless it has it in the title, in my opinion. Yeah. Like, The Long Halloween, kind of easy. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Versus, like, like, how do we know if a comic is about Chinese New Year? Mm-hmm. Like, oh, gotcha. You know, I actually, don't know if it's, yeah. it's funny that you mentioned that, because, uh, what's his name? Uh, is it Gene Yang? Uh, the, I'm trying to think of uh, American Born Chinese... Uh, oh, okay. And and Superman smashes the clan, which we read. Um, he just came out with a romance comic that takes place in Chinese New Year. <laughs> I think I saw that. That's probably like why I thought of why didn't we do more holidays? <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, please go on with what you were saying. I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, it's just such an American thing to be like Christmas, Valentine's Day, Halloween. Yeah, <laughs> it's in the holidays. Yeah, I I tried a little bit to look for like some kind of st patrick holiday or something like that mm-hmm. could yeah i don't maybe i didn't look hard enough but i couldn't find it <laughs> i mean i didn't look there's that gotta hard. be some like illustrated history of like this is what like st patrick's day is mm, you know what yeah, i mean yeah yeah 
be a long enough comic though for us to discuss. <laughs> yeah, that's that's true. I did realize that you know, while I had my choice essentially picked out for the theme like ahead of time, like I was like I want to read Claws in December mm -hmm. basically. <laughs> um, you know, a lot of other like even if it was like more um if it was more dialed into just like Christmas or like winter yeah. themed, you know, a lot of those are single issue, you know, maybe mm -hmm. it'd be like a double sized issue special, mm -hmm. you know, but you don't get a lot of like, unless you go the die hard is a Christmas movie route <laughs> <laughs> where it's the like, thing. <laughs> this thing takes place during the holidays yeah. and therefore it is a holiday comic movie whatever gotcha. yeah yeah i mean if we want to get into that territory it's like prometheus the movie has a christmas tree in it <laughs> and they discuss that yeah i it's yeah my mind went to i guess it would have been arkham city and arkham knight the video games they both take place in in christmas do they yeah I remembered Arkham City, it's snowing a lot, but mm -hmm. I didn't know it took place during yeah, Christmas. Yeah, City is near Christmas, but Night is closer to Halloween, because it's oh, Scarecrow. Okay. Oh. Is it? Okay. Interesting. It's gotcha. scary. Right. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, holidays are just such a backdrop. They're a setting that's mm -hmm. just, like, yeah. kind of there most of the time. Yeah. I, I, so I'm kind of happy that we ended the the theme on the long halloween which included so many different holidays <laughs> yeah yeah that was really a great choice that i wouldn't you know i mean i was happy to be reading it it was one that's been on my reading list for a while but i was just like oh yeah okay yeah you know it's like you said we did christmas valentine's day halloween um you know i was like yeah that's a pretty good out of four choices mm, you know yeah. that's a pretty good amount of holidays that like a lot of people recognize you know mm -hmm. but then it was like oh no long halloween actually has a ton of <laughs> holidays gotcha hmm. like a plague <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> they, they just keep coming I guess. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah i i don't think i knew the long halloween existed Mm. So I'm very oh. glad I got to read it. <laughs> very good, very good. Yeah, we're really, um, I feel like over the time that you have been on the show, Shuenta, we've just been adding to your Batman reading in particular. <laughs> like, I mean, obviously, yeah. like American comics in general, but like specifically, I feel like, you know, you generally like the the more famous batman and i know that you said at one point that you read uh the dark knight uh is it just the dark knight frank miller oh, the dark knight dark returns? Knight returns returns i see the problem is is that christopher nolan made the dark knight rises and my oh, brain yeah. cannot match the correct <laughs> r word i make that mistake every time <laughs> yeah <laughs> anyway so yeah the dark knight returns i remember you saying that you liked that book as well even though we have yeah, not covered it for the show. I read it for an English class. Yeah. Fascinating. I was stoked. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Did you get an A? I did great in that class. Nice. Nice. But, yeah, one time. Oh, what? You muted uh -oh. yourself. All right. <laughs> One time we were discussing what our favorite comics are, and I was like, oh, I should choose an American comic. And then I was like, oh, no. <laughs> None of these meet my taste. <laughs> You're all below me. But, I mean, that's not true anymore. Nice. Yeah. Um, yeah, so... I'm trying to think of, like, you know, if we should move on from the holiday themes though i i guess yeah going back to what you were saying earlier shuenta um i guess i'm glad that i chose it but i do recognize now kind of the difficulty and the nebulousness of it like i mean hopefully that did a like you know there are some like for instance when you did the uh greek roman uh theme you know that's like a little bit more 
uh, narrow, but there is a lot of things to choose from. I think that I hoped that with the nebulousness of holidays that there was going to be more ability to choose what you Mm. might like because it is just a backdrop. But that does also kind of limit the connectedness also, though. I will say, I mean, yeah, holiday, you know, just because you're about a holiday, how related are you? How similar are you? Mm -hmm. Versus, like, Christmas movies. Like, we know what they're going to be, right? Yeah. We know what a Christmas movie is going to be. That's so interesting to think about. There's not Christmas comics, are there? It's not really that genre of, like... No. There are, like, Christmas issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. It's, like, special holiday. I Mm -hmm. think uh, a comic that's coming out now is, like, Batman Santa or something like that. Like, Really? Oh, yeah. yeah, The Just League are meeting Santa Claus. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. As in, he's a superhero? Yeah, think, like, yeah. <laughs> Santa is roaming around and, like, t- calling people real names and be like, oh, yeah, Clark Kent got you a oh. bicycle <laughs> Oh yeah, six. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, because Santa has both shown up in the Marvel and the DC universe. Mm, I mean, he's like, got to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, he exists in both, but uh-huh. is this going to be, like, an ongoing thing or... I think it's a limited time, but I'm not sure how long it's supposed to run. Yeah. Don't okay. think Santa's going to be a reoccurring character. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's going to be around. He, he's going to be he sitting next a to the coal to dark side every year or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the way you described it, Jake, though, it made me think that, well, not Superman, but somebody was going to be like, we need to take Santa out. He knows too much. <laughs> <laughs> that would be Batman. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I need that conflict. Batman has a plan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh no no no! Batman would be like, man, Chris Kringle. That's a little. I I never would have thought of him. I don't have a plan for that. <laughs> Apparently, Santa. though, Bat- <laughs> Batman did know about Santa before Superman did, despite Super or Superman living in the Fortress of Solitude at the North Pole. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, they're in a, ma- a point. They're in like a hidden kingdom right next to each other. It's <laughs> uh, just he's got invisible lead. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I like this head cannon. Say, mm-hmm. <laughs> Moving on to we were discussing, well, we were going to discuss whether like any of these should have adaptations. And like obviously, I didn't know that the Long Halloween already had. I sh- I mean, I kind of knew. It sounds mm-hmm. popular enough that, of course, as adaptations, mm-hmm. I don't. I probably don't care about those. I really like it as a comic, and mm-hmm. I don't know how a movie is going to capture like the art styles. Oh yeah. Weird, fun, look. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as far as the Long Halloween, and I mentioned this kind of in the episode a bit, but um, it is the inspiration for both the Dark Knight and the Batman. I, okay. Um, oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, which feel like such two two different movies to me. <laughs> 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 but, um... So, yeah. are we talking about the Dark Knight, the second one in the trilogy? Yes. Okay, gotcha, yeah, gotcha. The second in the Nolan trilogy. Mm. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, and then also, Telling of course... Telling me there's three of them? <laughs> yeah there's three of them three. and i can't tell which order they're supposed to be in well oh, that, that oh. begins does happen first <laughs> i see and then what's the next one the dark, dark night dark and then the and dark, it's the dark rises. night rises yeah. there you go yeah yeah mm-hmm. see simple Damn. easy yeah <laughs> we yeah. just change the name and then we add a little extra word to the name mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. they can say the batman ends that's that's yeah, that'd be better honestly. I <laughs> I don't really like the name I mean, convention of the Nolan stuff. Either. Like the Batman stuff is dumb, but it's better than how many versions of Spider Man two are there oh. right now? Okay. Oh oh okay. It's kind of hard to beat that. <laughs> I actually Jake, uh, correction. <clears throat> There's only one Spider Man two. Okay, it's the one titled Spider Man two. <laughs> yeah, like the, the Marvels. Spider-Man 2, the video game? (laughs) 
Um, that's called Marvel Spider-Man Two, not Spider-Man Two. <laughs> Yeah, but you do have Recite Spider- all the Spider-Man media by heart, the names. <laughs> <laughs> all right, In Spider-Man order. 1, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man 3, uh, Amazing Spider-Man 1, Amazing Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man Homecoming, Spider-Man Far From Home, Spider-Man No Way Home. There you and go. Then Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. Spider-Man oh, you want to count those? <laughs> 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 Too many. Oh, wait, we forgot Spectacular Spider-Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and all the other cartoon adaptations. <laughs> um anyway though yeah. wow so so going back go, getting back on track a little bit um yeah i think that what I, if i if they were going to do like so first start starting with just or batman the long halloween mm. if they were going to do a live action movie i would almost like it to be like the um the 90s dick tracy um movie live action movie they did which has like they look like their comic counterparts, like with like really like weird stretched proportions and colorful outfits and stuff like that. Hmm. Like I'd like that to be. I I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's you'll have to look it up and just trust me. But it <laughs> is like you know, like there's a guy that like I can't remember exactly what his name is, but he, like his nickname is the shape of his head and therefore they make his head that shape in the movie interesting (laughs) it's like it's very you know because the the director gosh i'm not remembering right this second but basically he was a big fan of dick tracy growing up it's what like taught him to read and stuff so this was like a super passion project for him okay Um, i got you yeah and so that's what I'd like to see from the long Halloween <laughs> is like make it just like Tim Sale's art, but in real life, and it would be so off putting. It would be like <laughs> I don't know if I want to see that in motion. Yeah, you, you know, I I will say the the animated movie that they that they adapted this. Mm-hmm. Um, it, I'm I'm guessing by your description that they did not follow tim sales art in that at all because it's Mm. very crisp clean but thick dark lines Mm -hmm. it's like kind of more that newer animation style that they're doing yeah it's close to and like i kept like referring it to it in my head like not in the like character proportions as much but it's kind of like batman the animated series Mm. like very strong lines lots of uh you know very dark blacks even though it's like kind of a dumb term but <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's not that dumb there's 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 a range to blackness mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah like the the character models didn't uh aren't the same like the joker doesn't yeah. look like he does in the animated series but like the like tone and some of the uh yeah just like the overall visuals are reminiscent mm-hmm. okay and what's also interesting is that they made it a two part Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm. that makes sense with like 13 issues, but oh, okay. yeah, it also is curious because it's like, is like, I, I don't actually need to know, but I'm like, where does like, does part one end like somewhat satisfyingly or is it just like, well, you'll just have to come back for part two, oh, yeah. you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish yeah. I remembered. <laughs> I don't. But yeah. Uh, other adaptations. Just really easy to say. I can totally see Sanda as an episodic anime. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, easily. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and for Claws, um, I'd say that that would make a fine animated movie. Mm, I okay. don't think it needs to be live action at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, I could really see like you know, especially with like the kind of like mildly psychedelic you know forest spirit scenes and stuff like that like that mm-hmm. probably look cool in motion with colors yeah. vibrant colors and stuff like that um and then just like yeah some of the more like funnier action sequences and stuff like that i think mm-hmm. you know it'd make a a good like you know children's animated kind mm-hmm. of special yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking Claws would be a good one, too. But, yeah. yeah. I would not do live action, though. I think I want to see a live action. <laughs> yeah. I think, but only for the pain. <laughs> I Honestly, in my mind, I think of it like 
if it was a live action adaptation, um, Snow White and the Huntsman, like they, mm. in my mind, it's like they make one movie based off of this and it's like, oh, really good. And then they decide we're going to make some sequels to it. And you're like, uh, you didn't need to do that. <laughs> sequels to that movie? Yeah. Is okay. that like Maleficent? No. 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 It's. Oh. I can't remember. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I don't think I've actually seen Snow White and the Huntsman in the first oh, okay. place. So yeah. Oh, know. it's Winter's War. That was the sequel. Oof. That is a title. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Something like that. Um, Somebody fact check me. If that's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm can't trying. be bothered. <laughs> I like your misinformation. <laughs> <laughs> um. Also, yeah, this is a little off topic, but I just want to, like, it's the teeniest soapbox. I miss uh, holiday specials, too, like TV oh, holiday yeah. specials. Like, those disappeared mm. right in within my childhood of, like, the, the claymation mm. ones and and the peanuts and, oh, okay. you know. Like, I mean, I know that they were just re-airing. Like, they were created, like, decades ago, but I enjoyed watching them, and then they just stopped You mean you them. don't like living in the world where Apple TV has the sole rights to the Peanuts holiday specials? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that. Cody, how much children's media are you consuming? <laughs> I feel like they're probably still making them. Um, They're just not classic. They're like Paw Patrol. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, no, but that's a different thing, you know? Because so do you mean like okay yeah because it's less um like how, like like I mean you mentioned Paw Patrol and like other it's not like branded IP like I mean sure they technically like had Garfield and stuff like that do specials but it was more like the I mean for instance the Rudolph one the Frosty the Snowman one. You know, these oh, like cartoon specials okay. that were not like featuring your favorite character. I see. I got you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, technically, yes, Peanuts is very <laughs> branded IP. So I see where you're getting that. But also to me, Peanuts is like such its own thing that I'm not like, that doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I see. I see. Yeah. Huh. I, I think about. Like an anthology or something. Yeah. And and also part of it, too, is the fact that it is specifically a special that airs on network TV that might as well not. Network TV essentially <laughs> doesn't exist. Like it does, <laughs> but only. Like, you, so you're telling me you want all these companies to work together to air this special throughout all their streaming platforms. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, it just, yeah. <laughs> I'm nostalgic, nostalgic for an older time. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So, yeah, that's that's how I feel about, about specials, though. <laughs> um, and I feel like Claws would be a cool animated special. <laughs> mm, mm. Doesn't need to you be Netflix. You could watch the Netflix Claws. No. Oh, no. is there going to be... No, well, it already has. It's it's not related. It's two it's different not. things. Yeah. It's it's like such a beautiful piece of animation. Like it's incredibly well done 2D animation mixed with, you know, the rest. But I can't stand the way they talk. Really? How how's that? It's just it's just the Netflix like quirky like, oh I'm a clutch. Oh, it's the oh, MCUification okay. of a holiday. Sick. <laughs> Can't stand it. Wait, what? <laughs> MCUification? Or I guess Whedonisms. Mm hmm. Yeah, you know. You kill what? Come on. <laughs> Think of how every character in every MCU movie talks. Yeah, and how well, that, that is not happened. natural. <laughs> <laughs> I have never once watched an MCU movie and thought, man, that is not a natural way people speak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> I I have never had that thought. Have we stopped to consider you, maybe how that's many the... people do you meet in your day to day life that just quip their way through their day? <laughs> uh, <laughs> me? Too quirky, too long. <laughs> they made my personality. I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> Uh, it's Talon's world, and we're just living. In it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, like I could do this all day. Like, <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, even like that's 
kind of supposed to be more like inspirational and meaningful at yeah. least, but it's more like I don't know, like the whole like everybody is making fun of the villains' names, you know. Mm. And it's like nobody can take anything remotely seriously, you know. Yeah, you're I in think, a okay, situation, so, and you're busy mm-hmm. thinking of jokes to make. Uh-huh. I, I think of like, Avengers or yeah, Avengers two. Mm-hmm. I see, I see what you mean. Yeah, both directed okay. by Joss Whedon. Right. <laughs> the, yeah. <laughs> what a coincidence. <laughs> and his brother directed uh, Agents of Shield, but you mm. know, that's a different story. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or at least. I mean, I just saw one scene from it. I got to like the first scene and I was like, can't do this. Not strong enough. Gotcha. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Okay. So we are getting uh, running out of time. So we're going to have to switch uh, what we're talking about a little bit. Switch the tracks. Switch tracks. Um, I am curious to know what was everybody's favorite read of 2023 uh, for our show? Oh boy. Because for me, I'm like, so I kind of had a few, but I think that my top of the list is probably going to have to be do a power bomb, which was really? about a year ago, like January of last yeah. year. Um, but yeah, it was just really stand out for me. I really enjoyed it. I bought a print copy of it. Um, and yeah. Man, that says a lot, though, right? If you're willing to buy a print copy of it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and I bought somebody else a print copy of it as a Christmas present. So, wow. <laughs> yeah. Um, other than that, though, I feel like next in line would be actually Batman versus Predator. So, yeah, hmm. it's kind of my runner up. I really enjoyed that. And I think part of what I enjoyed about it was that it was so unexpected that I liked it so much. I never gotcha. read that one. There's a lot of them I haven't read. So I feel like <laughs> it's going to be pretty obvious what I liked. I I liked, um, of course, history. Mm-hmm. I don't know if I'd own a copy of it. I probably would just buy the second volume and that's it. Because I like that <laughs> section so much. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Superman, Red and Blue... Mm. was pretty good you know some parts that were just super gorgeous and then for some reason i put down not that i liked it but that it was memorable wanted (laughs) yes that's fair (laughs) it is it is memorable i mean we know (laughs) that i like bad media and consuming it a lot of times when it's just so weirdly off the other end Mm -hmm. mm-hmm mm-hmm uh, I am glad that that is one I did not read. I could not make the episode, <laughs> and then I was like, "Well, I don't have to read this now." <laughs> My life I is better like you, now. You still should read it, though. <laughs> should I? <laughs> he looks like Eminem. <laughs> I want to hear your thoughts on Wanted. Oh. <laughs> I want to hear my thoughts on that, like the way that I want to hear my thoughts on Marvel or Trouble from Marvel Comics. Ooh, <laughs> those are some polls. That's <laughs> yeah, I didn't even know what he's talking about. <laughs> uh... But like, you know how I felt after I watched Speed Racer, and I was like, "Wow, I was right to not like this." I feel like you would feel that way about Wanted. You get like a little pat on the back, huh? Yeah. (laughs) Gosh. (laughs) I mean, we also, we read Domu, which is, you know, such a famous comic. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It just didn't quite do it for me. Mm. From the creator of Akira. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, I I kind of looked. Age of Bronze. Oh, Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, I I looked at Domu and thought about it. But then I was like, yeah, yeah, kind of what you said. You know, it was just. It was good, but mm-hmm. no. Age of Bronze is actually it's actually pretty good. It's hard to deny that. Yeah, that one probably it didn't quite make my list of tops, but it it's right there. You know, mm-hmm. I did like that one. Yeah, Gosh. you know, I I always wanted to know that story in like a certain illustrated form like that. It's just such. There's so much work going into it, mm-hmm. like historically and then artistically, and then like laying it out. Like, you gotta admire that. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's a good point. 
And like, yeah, I really liked the idea that it's like, yeah, we're pulling from different sources too. This isn't just like the Iliad and, and the Odyssey. We're like bringing in Shakespeare. We're bringing in, uh, I always forget her name, but that uh, other Greek playwright that isn't Homer uh, <laughs> um, from Lesbos. Um, oh, yeah, Sappho. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Thank you. I see. <laughs> 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 the moment you said lesbos i knew yeah oh, oh I, I, I i hoped that that would be the clue no i, I didn't know at all <laughs> yeah I know. you didn't know I, earlier we were talking about shakespeare plays and oh yeah that's were, true like, I, didn't, that's true. I, I didn't realize that was shakespeare i was like yeah. all right <laughs> okay to be fair 12th night <laughs> i mean that's a bigger one i mean i would i would I would Needs be, to work on its branding. Yeah, I'd be okay <laughs> if you didn't get Taming of the Shrew, but Twelfth oh. Night, I'm like, that's a that's one that they read in high school sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I read yeah, Romeo sure. and Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> like our high school drama department did Twelfth Night, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. They wow. Did. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Fair enough. Fair enough. Who knows what those theater kids are doing? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I was not a theater kid, so mm, yeah. Um. I I would say I think my this was I, my favorite, and it was so good that I thought I picked it, <laughs> but I did not. <laughs> Dead Romans, I mm. I think that was really good. That yeah. one didn't. That was your favorite. Yeah, uh, yeah. Wow. Oh. Yep. And then a run, very close runner up is Rogue Son. Hmm. Yeah, I really enjoyed See, that. I thought that was going to be your favorite. Oh, that's fair. Mm. That's fair. Interesting. Yeah, I would have. I I wasn't necessarily thinking about what your favorite would be, but I can agree with Shwenta. Now that mm-hmm. I am thinking about it, <laughs> yeah, that's probably what I would have picked for you. Mm-hmm. There's yeah. so many good books on this list that I have not read. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, which ones were you? I guess yeah. I'm now. I'm curious because you've mentioned it. What is the one that you think you'd like the most that you haven't read? Shwenta. Um, I think I would probably like seconds. Mm. Oh, and then yeah, what's that's that right. other one. I can't say his name. Rorschach. Oh, oh Rorschach. 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 Yes. Mm. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, it's named after the test. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> How do I say this which word? is named after See? the man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I didn't read Incall. Um. There's, Incall. There's a- was weird yeah i I think it would at least be interesting like artistically Mm -hmm. Mm, gotcha and then i didn't read batman versus predator oh really (laughs) that's kind of one of my new year's resolutions is like stop putting off stuff you know you might like Mm -hmm. Uh, Mm -hmm. just because you know you'll probably like it way better than i had any right to be and i think we said that (laughs) throughout the episode yeah it was like I can't believe this is so good. Yeah. Uh, what, what are we even <laughs> like? <laughs> uh, yeah. Writ- or written and drawn by the sons of uh, Joe Cooper, Andy, and I don't remember the other brother's name, Cooper. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, some of it. Yeah. Very, very good art and intriguing story. Like. Wait, just, what are we talking about again? Uh, Batman versus Predator. Oh, okay. Okay, that <laughs> yeah. makes sense. Okay. Yeah. I did mention a bunch of titles. So, yeah. Yeah. I will say, you know, we did write, read more Dungeon Meshi, and Dungeon Meshi finished this last year, and now the anime is coming out, and it's so bittersweet. I am mm. going to buy every single volume of that series. So, obviously, <laughs> I can't, like, put it on my favorite, because we knew. I chose it. <laughs> I mean, you can. <laughs> If you enjoyed it the most right. out of all yeah. of the things, then. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I see. It. Life. Yeah, mm. yeah. I did watch the first episode of um of the anime um on Netflix, mm-hmm. and it was all right. But also, I kind of was like, if I I feel like it followed probably the first chapter um pretty well. But at the same time, I, I guess it kind of suffers in the same way that I feel like the first chapter probably suffers, where I'm like, give me a little bit more to hold yeah, on people, to. Yeah, people, you think, it's very much like, you think it's just about this. Mm-hmm. And it's like, well, you got a hint. 
Like you, mm. you know, you're setting up. Once they get to that dragon, that is gonna be so weird to see <laughs> animated. Like all that <laughs> stuff with the dragon dying mm. and all that. Yeah, I, I wasn't there. So uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I and really, I just want more clues into the wider. Like, I mean, they do so much for the world building, and like, I I appreciate the. Um, the world building as far as like the way that the monsters work but honestly actually yeah they they in the first episode they um uh, allude to the living armor and is all like uh, i think it's uh what's her name fallon is the sister that's uh eaten. yeah marcel marcel yes marcel is all mm. like we're gonna we can't eat armor that's metal you know <laughs> <laughs> and then like uh, but then they don't they don't do anything else with the living armor. I think that that would have been a cooler monster for the first episode to be all because it was so so interesting to me at mm-hmm. least. Yeah, it's like a twist kind of thing. Yeah, the mushrooms were just like, all right, yeah, it's it's a mushroom and the, it's such <laughs> standard fare. Yeah, I I do think like it's kind of suffering from artistically like modern anime is so generic color scheme to mm. me. There's mm-hmm. no like. There's no mood. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. That's all I have to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, like, I think that the way that um, the characters are written, like, very clearly convey, like, how their voice should be performed, I guess. And mm-hmm. I do agree that the voice, the, the English voices, at least, are, like, what I thought they would be. But at the same time, they're kind of annoying. <laughs> so I'm oh, like, you're yeah. not wrong, but also it's easier to read you than listen to you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know if I agree with some of the voice choices. <laughs> okay. I feel like they went for, like, popular in some ways. Yeah. Oh, okay. they cast uh, celebrities instead of voice actors again? Well, they have the one, like, YouTuber guy. And, like, I think he does good voices. But like, Oh, Pro ZD? Or Senshi? different guy? Yeah. Oh, really? Which, like, it sounds like he's putting on a voice, in my opinion. Huh. So, like, you know, you sit there and you're like, this isn't the character. This is a man putting on a voice to sound <laughs> deeper. Interesting. I'll have to... I mean, I, I figured even, like, with my misgivings about it, I've, I'll probably watch more. Um, I'll have to really listen in for Senshi now because I did not know that he was on it and I wasn't judging the voice based on that i guess <laughs> yeah maybe i'm just <laughs> i mean i don't listen to dubs anyway most of the time mm, yeah fair yeah. enough um all right though i think that that is where we're going to have to cut this episode off um oh, gotcha. yeah uh very quickly oh, favorite yes. book of the year uh oh, probably yes. dungeon <laughs> meshy <laughs> <laughs> sorry sorry, <laughs> sorry Jake. <laughs> I read it all the way through. Oh, wow, nice. <laughs> Wait, did you read to the end of the actual end? Yes. Wow. So you finished Dungeon Meshi. Yeah. Good job, man. <laughs> Gold wow. star. Yeah. And, and I'm sorry, Jake, I did not mean to uh, skip over you. <laughs> we just <laughs> it's, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I'm glad you spoke up, Jake. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. I would have been like, oh, what? <laughs> um... But that's really cool, actually, that bo- both of you read to the end um, and that it's your <laughs> favorite. Yeah, I would say that that is up there for me. I think that because we technically read some Dungeon Meshi in 2022 also. Mm-hmm. I keep I... forcing you to read entire <laughs> volumes at a time. Yeah. In like the span of a week. Well, yeah, the thing is, is that I think that I chose Dungeon Meshi as like one of my favorites of 2022 though so it was uh, like picking it for 2023 you know i mean and also there were there were things that i liked better than it also but, oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. i mean i think it's totally valid for you to choose dungeon meshi again you know favorite <laughs> two years running <laughs> yeah <sighs> but yeah all right yeah. Well, thank you guys um this has been a really fun episode i hope that you know we continue to do these kinds of episodes yeah. and um yeah and again to those out there listening let us know what you think that we should call this um you know i'm i'm leaning towards like afterward i also thought like maybe something to do with like 
gutters because that's like you know oh. we're the comic panel and that's like in between yeah. panels you know yeah i don't know yet i got a name though yeah. Comic panel gutter takes. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know. I'm like nothing. gutter gutter takes. Gutter that, takes. I love that. I need that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Maybe that's what it's gonna be. <laughs> um. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Um. I'm Cody. I'm Taylan. I'm Jacob. And I'm Shawinta. And this has been the comic panel. We'll see you next time. Thank you for listening. If you like this episode, be sure to subscribe to our podcast on Apple Music, Spotify, or Podbean. You can support this podcast by sharing it with anyone you know and by rating and reviewing our podcast. You can also reach out to us with any thoughts you have on the things we talk about on Twitter at the Comic Panel one and on Instagram and Facebook at the Comic Panel. We appreciate your feedback and look forward to sharing many more comic thoughts with you. Have a blessed day.